Well, we're here for round one. Uh, technically round two. I won round one against Green Red Scape Shift, but my computer had some issues. Uh, this hand is not great. We can't Ancestral on one, and we don't have Red for our Bolt. I can see a lot of ways that this just ends poorly, actually. Especially since we're on the draw. I don't know, though. I'm going to mulligan this. Alright, this hand seems much better. And yeah, I'll keep that. Basically never going to turn down a Seer Vision, so. It's really weird since I have two... <laughs> two motos, like two screens. So have two matches popped up. Oh, jeez. Hope that does not affect things poorly. Um... Well, my hand is certainly good against this matchup. I feel like I should bolt that Mem Knight, though. If I am going to bolt it, I should do it on their upkeep. I don't know if you would like activate Ink Moth and like stubborn denial it or something. Who knows? Better just play around it. Uh, against these aggro decks, sometimes you end up fetching duels even though you might not want to just because it's way more important to just have the colors. Uh, yeah, so you had Dark Steel Citadel, so you could have played a three this turn. So I'm pretty glad that I killed this Mem Knight, even though killing Ravager might be pretty good too. Um, so if I terminate Ravager, he can move the counters onto Ink Moth, or the counter, I suppose, which might be fine, actually. I think I'm kind of okay with that. It's like another turn where maybe he doesn't have Mox Opal mana. Or at the very least, to get the mana, he has to activate the Ink Moth, which puts him down a mana anyway. So, gets a little bit of use out of the Ravager. Hopefully he plays something that I can 2 for 1 with the K command. Yeah, just another Inky. It might be good, though. Good for me. And another Ravager. Alright, that's, that's less good. So now, I uh, don't really have great K command options. If I like shock and shatter, he just sacks the Ravager, puts the counter on the Thopter. I could shock and shatter the Mox Opal, but then he could make a 3 3 Ravager. I could shatter just the Ravager, but that doesn't seem good either. So we're going to dig for a Bolt or a Snapcaster, I guess. Also, don't even really want to keep it open. Okay, well, there's a Snapcaster. Uh, do I want this Tassiger? I don't think so. I think I do want the Snapcaster. I don't want either of those. Guru Island. All right, here come all the Inkies. Nope. Interesting. Wonder what that means. Uh, it's basically free to just always attack with the Ornithopter too. I feel like my opponent should be doing that, but it's not really a big deal. It's not great. Okay. So if I go Shatter the Ravager and Shock the Overseer, this ends poorly for me. I could just Snap Bolt and then I have the, a blocker for the Ravager. Then he could maybe kill me with Ink Moth. This is tough actually. Maybe I'm supposed to like sh just take the hit. And like Shatter Shock end of turn. No, 
not really doing any math here because I feel like I can't die. I could be wrong. I have all the cards, I just need time. But my opponent obviously does not want to give me time. I feel like maybe they should have sacked the Citadel or the Mox Opal last turn too. Just like start getting some extra points. Cause like having that fifth mana lying around doesn't really do anything unless they draw three drop and one attack with Ink Moth. And I don't even know if this Terminate does anything. Kind of just want to land so that I can K command on tap and K command again. And hopefully, this all works out. Hopefully me letting my opponent on tap with Steel Overseer kind of gives them like a false sense of security. I don't know. I am just like bottoming all my cards off Serum Visions too. Did top a Snapcaster. Maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, Edge Champion's gonna beat me. Even if I get to live through this, Edge Champion is gonna beat me. Uh, so if I go Shatter Shock. Sacks them both the Ravager, that's three, four from the Overseer, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not dead. So my opponent did draw the three drop, which makes keeping their opal around a little bit better. Activating Blink Moth actually just like gives me kind of a good shatter target. I guess I could have targeted down the Ornithopter or the Mox. So now I'm taking five this turn and can't really beat the champ. Yeah, it doesn't really help me. So many artifacts. I'm just gonna concede. I could buy some time with Cryptic Command, but I'd rather actually just not show them Cryptic. Uh, so like angers are kind of good, explosives is kind of good, some fulminators are kind of good, striders okay, static aster is definitely great, static aster is getting in there, uh, and then these six, I guess I'm signing out cryptic command probably, maybe I should have just showed it to him. <laughs> so say we bring in all of these magic cards. Get rid of these mana leaks too. Mana leak is fine, but not great. I do like Ancestral. Uh, probably on the draw we'll shave one, but I mostly like them. This deck needs PN Kieran, geez. Card just solves all the problems. Maybe I should sideboard some. Sideboard at least one. So I can see taking out the Thought Scour. When I played my version of this deck, like the GP Oklahoma City deck, uh, I was typically just like cutting all the Thought Scours because like your first three turns are typically spent killing your opponent's stuff. You don't have time to really like turbo out a Tassiger. And you generally win by just like putting them down to zero, not necessarily by like playing a Tassiger and like you know, racing them or whatever, so. So, yeah. Well, this is, this is a hand that is keepable.
I'm not saying it's a great hand, but it has a couple a couple cards that have potentials to get two for ones. He goes like Mem Knight Mox Opal, it's on. It is on. Citadel's like the scariest card because of S Champion. Alright, so no no opal, just the Thopter. And I think I'm just gonna fetch like a watery grave and serum visions. Do I want that serum visions? Do I have time for that? Would like to filter into some more stuff, but why not have time? Burn and Affinity are matchups where you can safely actually cut some of these cantrips because you just don't have the time. So opponent does have the Opal, and then they have the Champ. It's like kind of annoying, Champ with two Citadels, can't really beat it. I mean, I can Explosives for three this turn. I just want to shatter shock. Like less mana, no colored mana. I can explosives away the champ later. And this way it makes it so my opponent is kind of incentivized to run the second champ out there. If they have plating, I look kind of stupid. Yeah, Thoughtcast is not great for me, but did what we could. Killing the Mox Opal. We tried. That's all you can really ask for. I uh, wish we had Serum Visions on this turn, but I'm just going to pass it back. I'm content to take a few hits from this thing. And this is kind of what the game's come down to. Like, you have the ability to keep plating off the table, which is nice. Uh, we're not going to have good use for the shock, unfortunately. Could go Shattered Discard, I guess. Uh, it looks like there are two platings on this thing when there's only one. I wonder if I'm going to target one of them and it's going to be wrong. The other game is like a turn behind somehow. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, okay, so. So when I do this, it highlights the second plating. But it, when I do this, it lets me target the first one. Okay, I hope. I hope these platings die somehow. Now I just have two K commands in my graveyard. Oh, I cast the second K command. Never mind. Just like C and double over here. So I still kind of don't want to cast uh, my explosives. I would like to nab another three drop. And realistically, I probably should have done the shattering in response to the plating equipment because they could have stubborn denial. I don't think that card is particularly good, but it is a thing that could have happened. Ooh, maybe I'm supposed to snap a Seer Visions there too. I don't think so. I think I'd rather have it for Cake Man, but yeah, Ravager. Arr, Ravager. No attack with the Ink Moth. Yeah, that's fine with me. Just immediately sacks the Thopter, okay. 
She just immediately moves in on the champ. Weird. What is happening right now? Why? Ugh. Trying to get me on a three turn clock, I guess? I don't know. Getting a little impatient with me topping some cards. Uh, discard, kill your drum. Don't really see a reason to crack this tarn unnecessarily. And discard master with your, they're playing around explosives and like Shatterstorm and stuff, that's absurd. That is absurd. My opponent is too good. Are they ghosting? Taking out their last card there, where if they're willing to discard a Master of Ethereum is probably pretty good. I assume it's just another champ, and then I'm gonna die to that, but maybe we'll draw Peace Strider. Okay. Oh my god, I can't believe you played around it. That's so sick. I think I can crack one fetch. I just want to milk the explosives. My opponent won't let me. They had too many good cards. <clears throat> Come on, Peace Strider. Uh, so I could scour these cards away, but I would rather just scour anything else. Into the graveyard, I think that's more helpful. Oh, I scoured away the Peace Rider, no! Now we're all out of cake, mans. Possible we could race this edge champion, but it is not likely. We do have plating covered, which is good. Ooh. Get back my peace strider? Yeah. I cracked my fetch to do it. Dead to Gelf Blast. I guess I could have shattered the opal, but I'm, I'm just dead anyway. Uh, return, shatter. Oh, plan is coming together. See, that's how the deck works. We might still lose this game, but at the very least, our deck works. So there is that. Pull that big boy up on screen. Oh, another champ. Quit sandbagging. Now we just sit here for forever, I guess, because no one can attack a block. <laughs> Pretty great. You have to terminate that ink moth. I'm not sure how I even beat two champs on D. I guess I just bolt them out or something. Well, Snapcaster probably helps somehow. I think I just save it? Not sure what I'm saving it for exactly. 
Lightning Bolt, I guess. They do manage to kill my Peace Strider somehow. Okay, well, you have colored mana again. Such a tilt. Oh, I thought about making them discard a card. Maybe I should have killed the Thopter in response. I don't know. So, okay, command. Should I kill the drum or just shock them? Because that would put them to eight. Black, red. Kind of terminate flooded so we can just afford to burn this here while we have mana. Uh, another Snapcaster is excellent. In case you didn't know, drawing Snapcaster Mage is great. Peace Strider is just killing it. We do die to Galvanic Blast. Mem Knight doesn't do it. Uh, if I terminate this, think I can send with everyone? Oh yeah. Well, now they're just dead to bolt snap bolt. But I want to see how my opponent would block here. So I guess he goes double single, but I can just do this. Shatter the Ink Moth, two to them. Okay. Concession. All right, now we're on the draw. Uh, don't really have anything better to bring in, though. Guess my opponent has a bunch of threes. They have Etch Champion and Master, and they slow play the crap out of everything. They keep in Mem Knight, though, which is kind of strange. I think that's generally the first card to go. I don't know. I kind of want these mana leaks. Kind of want one less Serum Visions. I think Ancestral Vision is pretty good still. Could probably cut a Tassiger. I guess Serum Visions is just better than Thought Scour. So if I am cutting just some crappy cantrip, might as well be Scour. That's kind of a shame. I don't feel like the deck is super well set up for this matchup. Have some stuff. Peace Strider was gas. Was so good. Cannot say more things about Peace Strider. We still have like two matches, which is so weird. I don't get it. Maybe if I win this game, I'll win two matches. Yeah, so kind of got worked game one against the Scapeshift deck, and then uh, basically Colony Heart Expedition killed me. And then games two and three, which kind of disrupted them a little bit. Mulligan in game three let me K command their last card, which is a lethal Scapeshift. Uh, when I was like pretty mana screwed, like couldn't get to four for a cryptic. Yeah, so we'll keep this opponent mulligans. Everything's great.
there's the Vault Scourge. I have that covered in a couple different ways. So I don't know if I'm supposed to bolt that or not. I feel like I might want the bolt for the Ink Moth, but I could certainly be wrong. This is like actually pretty tough. Like I almost certainly can't wait to like Staticaster that thing. That's just not gonna work. It's possible that me bolting it will allow me to get out of etch champion range. And I have so much stuff anyway, like how important is this bolt? And I've I've static caster to cover the Nexus, yeah. That Vault Scourge is good for two, at least. I don't want to use this, but I also can't really let that ink moth get a counter. Basically, just point and click. Boom. Signal pest. Sure. Cage? Yeah, I guess. That is that is legal. So I just pass and they're incentivized to actually fire up the inky with the single pest. So I don't know. I don't know if this will actually happen. Anger continues to be pretty poor, I suppose. They're not equipping plating. So what do they have? I really want to get this Ink Moth Nexus at some point. Um, they're going to, like, plating the other thing, maybe? Ugh, I don't like it. I feel like my opponent's up to no good. No good. Oh, Santa Caster is one of my favorite cards. Ooh, Ancestral, that's great. So it doesn't look like Blast, so it has to be like Dispel, Pierce, or Stub. Yeah, fire up that Inky, do it. Teach me a lesson. Send me a message. Hmm. Well, we have four toughness things on lock. Lock it up. Anger is basically only good in the worst case scenarios. And I guess my opponent like played around the sweepers pretty well. So I sh probably should have known that these were going to be bad. Yeah, sure. We can prolong the game a little bit here. I think we can buy the time. Okay, that's a thing. Bink. If you just move the counter to Ink Moth, I think I terminate it. I could, I could just wait. Oh yeah, I, th I still think they might have a counter spell. I mean, I can play around Pierce and Stub. So I think we might have ruled out Dispel. Dispel, not a card that Affinity typically plays anyway. You'd think if they had Stub, they would want to Equip the plating as soon as possible, though. So I think it's Spell Pierce. Target Moi. All right, so Snapcaster doesn't do a whole lot because of the cage. We'll find a K command or an explosives eventually. Do you have this Ancestral 2, I think? Yep. Another Revenger. If I P 
King is a Ven <laughs> Ravager. What what do I think is gonna happen? Are they gonna do the same thing? I wonder. Cause like if I ping its main phase, I might just sack an artifact. like if they if they animate the nexus that opens them up to a whole bunch of other stuff like this anger I and I don't even know if I want to cast the anger really because then that would kill my static caster but it might be worth it yeah I think it's worth it I'm ancestral coming off next turn and I back up anger so I think it's okay. In the meantime, I'll take him to the tar pit. There was a slight pause there. It makes me think they might have blast. I feel like if they had blast, they would just kill the kill the static astro. So I think their last card is still Spell Pierce. Ah, oh, double plating again. Nice, nice. Fulminator Mage, that's not bad. So, Anger, Fulminator, we're going to have two mana plus a land drop. So, we start with Serum Visions. Uh, don't think we need Spell Snare. We will definitely keep the K Command. Just one for one, the Vault Scourge, no big deal. And then we have the Blink Moth covered. I wonder if I should kill the Blink the ink, uh, Blink Moth right now. Kind of want the beater, but so next turn I think I'm gonna kill the Cage, bring back Fulminator, kill a Glimmer Void, so they can't draw a three drop. Not that that necessarily changes much. So they have Spell Pierce and something. I'm not sure what the something is. Could just be a land. I think it's worth it to just keep hitting their lands in case they do draw three drops and they actually don't have another mana source.